Modern Warfare 2 has a lot of things that you've probably played that feel like changes just for the sake of changes. Whether it be the perk system, attachment unlocks, whatever, there's probably a few things you could name off the top of your head that you're just like, why? However, one of the most fundamental things in an adjustment that was made wasn't something that impacts their overall gameplay loop, but instead is an entry point to that, a little more fundamental to how the game is interacted with, the user interface and user experience. For many, it's convoluted, it's complicated, and it's one of those things that you could just ask, why? Well, if a new report is to be believed, we may not be seeing this same iteration of the menu systems that we've had for much longer. Today, we're talking about the first potential overhaul that we could be seeing in Modern Warfare 2, what could be changing, how it would be changing, and would it be the only one that we see coming to Modern Warfare 2 over the next couple of months? As we go along, drop your thoughts below. What would you want to see changed in an upcoming overhaul if you had the chance to dictate what would be going into it? Let me know your thoughts below, but if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're pushing towards 600,000 subscribers. Really curious to see where we can land by the time of Warzone 2 and DMZ's launch in just about two weeks time. So if you're part of that, over 70% of viewers who are not subscribed and like to stay on top of everything Modern Warfare 2 and soon to be Warzone 2 and DMZ, I'd love to have you in the community. For now though, let's talk about this overhaul that's reported to be coming sometime in the near future. So that menu that we have for Modern Warfare 2, clunky, convoluted, however you want to describe it, it's certainly not everybody's first choice for how the user interface and design will go, how these menus work. To me, I've kind of likened it to the point where like it feels almost like a mobile platform but put onto a console and pc user experience which doesn't translate all that well now i'm sure that a lot of you guys have also had this complaint here with it you're not a huge fan of how the user interface and menus are working and that's where our friend ralph's valve comes into play an insider that we've talked about here on the channel plenty of times here in the past couple of months but he ended up putting up a new article over on what if gaming titled ui slash ux overhaul coming to modern warfare 2. now ralph's track record for the most part has checked out to be pretty legit. He has had sources that have come through, given him information that has in fact come to pass. So hearing this is absolutely something that it's at least worth hearing out. He ended up detailing a little bit about what we already knew of this sort of development in the user interface system here that we ended up seeing, where a bunch of seniors, directors, and experienced former TV user interface employees, the one that I think that I remember the most being the mainstay was like Disney Plus and Hulu. They ended up taking a bunch of people that worked on that user interface and the platforms there. They were brought into Infinity Ward's UI and UX department to kind of bring the same thing to Modern Warfare 2, and I'm pretty sure that's apparent by what we've seen so far. According to him, this was an issue that not only we see, but also those at Infinity Ward working on the game seem to have had as well, stating that internally, the issue was pressed for discussion, and a few flags were raised prior to the release describing the UI as difficult and invasive to design goals. So if even those at Infinity Ward feel this way, is it something that will be changing? According to Ralph and one of his associates, he mentioned that some revision is coming to the UI and UX for the future of Modern Warfare 2 and then Warzone 2, stating it's a work in progress, there's a lot of moving pieces, updates have been well underway. So while it offers no specific details, it's definitely nice to hear that at least that's on the discussion board if all things here are to be believed. And so therefore, a change, if you're not a fan of it, might be coming at some point. And with no specifics, that kind of leaves it up to the imagination what could indeed change here. I mean, the user interface, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, from things like seeing the social side of things, where your friends and your hub is, where your showcase is, your operator, your settings, and everything like that, to even just things down to like how you select your weapons, the user interface to enter into matches, everything like that. Personally, on my end, I'd want to see the social side of things in that sort of settings menu changed a bit. It's not my favorite layout on how that all works out, but ultimately, I think I'd more so want see some creative class user interface adjustments and the biggest one to me we've talked about it before is the camo selection i mean i think the camo system is awesome here within this year but going over if you unlock a camo to scroll past 180 plus of them or something that gets really annoying and it makes it almost to the point where you cannot actually do that while a match is like loading up or something like that if you have to quickly select and change an attachment a camo whatever you're gonna be hard pressed to do that in a 10 second countdown sometimes coming back to that user interface i saw that on reddit the user intervent x1 ended up doing a sort of mock design for how the user interface could work for modern warfare 2's camos and i want to see this is something that i've said it from day one that i kind of wish that they would end up having the sort of drop down selection menu of like folders for different camo categories and then having your specific weapon challenges and your completionist ones also there in the same view. That's something he illustrated incredibly well. I'll leave the link down there in the description below to that thread if you guys want to check it out. But again, there's absolutely no shortage of what we could probably think about with this user interface and menu design. But that said, if this happens, when would it happen? 
Well, at the earliest, we'd probably see is like season one, but I still don't even think that that would be the case because season one is only two weeks away or rather less than. So at that point, well, it's not a whole ton of time to turn around an entire overhaul of a game system as fundamental as a user interface overhaul. Would it be something that comes at season one reloaded? Perhaps, but it's definitely something that's larger scale. So it might not be as immediate. The biggest question though is what I get my hopes up because honestly, not sure. We've heard the rumors of overhauls for different games plenty of times in the past. The biggest one and most directly comparable to this perhaps was that rumored overhaul in Modern Warfare 2019, which um, that never came. Granted, this is an entirely different subject, something that isn't as perhaps foundational to the gameplay experience as some of the things that were proposed in the Modern Warfare 2019 overhaul, but it might be on the opposite side of the coin equally foundational to the application itself in rebuttal, not necessarily the gameplay loop, but the overall experience players have in crafting something so basic as a menu system that you navigate the game. It's important to know that Infinity Ward, for better or for worse, are always the most stubborn developers of the three when it comes to feedback and implementing change. Again, on one hand, sure, power to them, having that vision and sticking to it. I've said it before, it feels like Infinity Ward to me is the more stubborn of the three developers. Sledge wants to make a game the community wants. I know so much stuff that I'm not at liberty to say that has been shut down by Activision that would have been really good for whatever game they'd be working on. Vanguard though, the entire game I feel like of World War II, I genuinely feel it was just like, we're short on dev time, we need to make a game, let's build off what we have and they continued like a World War II part two. And then Treyarch are the ones that are like right in the middle doing stuff the community may want sometimes, but also then others, not so much. But Infinity Ward, I get it, more power too if you want to stick to your guns. But on the other hand, when the overwhelming feedback is like, let's change this and it seems like even those in the studio are like, like, let's change this, you'd think there'd be some consideration. So, I don't know, maybe it's a coin flip 50-50 here on this one, but beyond that, if they overhaul the menus, will they overhaul the game itself? Will they add Ninja as a perk, keep Dead Silence as a field upgrade? Will they end up changing the perk system? Will they completely overhaul spawns? You name it, and as much as I'd love to talk about that, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here, because that, that's probably too wishful thinking. I can't imagine that again, Infinity Ward, the ones that stick to their guns, change all of that here. But at least right now, we might have that first stepping stone into a better user interface here going forward, if this is to be believed. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. A rather interesting report and something that honestly, I'd welcome with open arms here at that point. So that said, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think this update and overhaul to the user interface will be something that does indeed come? Do you think it's needed? What would you change and why? Whatever the case, feel free to let me know your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2. We're going to have so much upcoming here still that you won't want to miss. So I'd love to have you in the community. For now though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.